Hey everyone, and welcome to Canva Corner. Matt Emerson here from WBNL Coaching and Jan O'Brien. I always do that wrong. Jan O'Brien, my cohort and co-founder of WBNL Coaching as well. Today in Canva Corner, we are going to talk about the content calendar, which if you're in Canva with any frequency, I know you've seen that in the menu over to the left-hand side. Have you seen that, Jan? It's been there for a while. It's been there for over a year. They've had this uh, this feature. So let's actually just jump on in here. I don't think I've seen it. Right over here in the left-hand menu. Oh, let me pull up my screen. I always do that. About the fifth bullet down here is the content planner. Right? Yeah. No. Never have clicked on that ever. Okay. <laughs> Now, let's just take one second to talk about social media and talk about just planning your, your marketing calendar in the first place. There's a thousand different ways you can do this. There's a thousand different theories on how you should post and what you should do with marketing. So, you know, <laughs> you, we, could, we can't cover them all here. We just can't. Here's the deal with any social media, especially, and let's kind of focus on social media today. You need to be consistent with social media. You need to drive value with social media. And, um, you know, you, you in order to actually, you know, educate and entertain your followers. I, I'm going to show you some things today just to make it simple so you know how to do it. Some social media posts that are great to post, but they're not going to build your audience on social media. You know, we we have learned very well uh, over the last few years. The, the only way to really, really um, uh, boost your actual followers and your audience and your engagement in social media is through consistency, but not just consistency, consistency through uh, topical uh, issues, things that are going to be very valuable to the consumer on the other side. I mean, really, those are the top two things. Would you have any other you, you want to add to that, Jan? I think it's quality. It's not yeah. quantity, it's quality. It's like something the consumer wants. So exactly. It's going to find value. Exactly. At the same time, though, if you have a trillion followers, there is nothing wrong at all with posting consistently some things that are just a little bit fun, like a fun quote or something about what's going on, like, you know, sure. a time change or or I'm going to tell you something. Uh, tomorrow is International Waffle Day. And if I didn't know that, I might not have a waffle tomorrow, but I am considering having a waffle. So there's nothing wrong with doing posts like that as well. Just know that when you're just consistently posting things like that, you're really not giving any value. You're just adding something well, that I might not know about that, Matt, I, I think sometimes those are the things that get people to interact and talk. So don't underestimate right. the power of like, it's such and such day. What are you doing today? Or here's what I did today. And what about you? And it might get people because it's not so businessy or whatever. Right. To engage with you. So, uh, but just, but just know though, also that, that we have really found out just through our own experience that that's all great and fine and good. We used to post every single day, something, and that's all, I mean, it was great. And, and it, sometimes it did actually, uh, uh, spawn or spur a little bit of of conversation but at the same time it didn't exponentially grow our fan base so anyway i just want to throw that out there cool. um that you you know there's a lot of different ways to tackle social media and um, you really need to have a strategy and we talk about it a lot in our podcast in our training and all of that so stick with us and we will help you uh, with all of that so to that point, I'm going to show you how to actually schedule some social media posts uh, right here directly from Canva. So we have a, a product within our WBNL coaching tool called WBNL 365, and that is really simply kind of what we're talking about here. We have put together 365 separate individual posts and um, images that you can actually use in your social media. We've done them in Instagram size, and we're doing kind of a rectangle kind of size too. That actually is better on Twitter. Uh, the the square kind of actually works anywhere now. The way social media has kind of changed, and with Facebook kind of taking over uh, our uh, you know owning Instagram, it, it all kind of is the same thing here. But we do provide that for you as part of our social media course, which is a part of our connecting your real estate business course. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a couple ways that we have you know that you can actually use the content planner. Getting back to that, that was a long way around to that again, wasn't it? Um, in uh, in Canva here. So if you click on the content planner, it's going to bring up a calendar, the calendar of March, right? So you could literally go in here and you could you could pre-plan a post for every day of the month if you wanted to. So take about an hour out of your your of one day and then not even worry about your posting on social media for an entire month, which is really handy. A lot of different ways you can do that too, right? We've done it in several different uh, programs where you could just, you know, 
do your post and do that. The nice thing about Canva is we've been we've been showing you how to design in Canva. There are so many different features and functions and processes and systems you can do in here. And this is just another thing that allows you to go directly from design to publication um, all at the same time. It's super easy. So let's just walk through this. So today's the 24th. Let's post something for today. Right here, when you hover over the date, there's a little plus sign. Click on that. And that's going to bring up all of your product that you have uh, built in, you know, in Canva. Now, here's two ways you can do it here. You can pull something up that you've already created, or you can actually create a design right here on the fly that you want a calendar for a, for a particular day. Wow. Okay. So that's super sweet. I just happen to have one in here once again from our WBNL 365. That is the uh, post that we have for March 24th every year. And it's just a quote, all the wonders you seek are within yourself, with, which is, I find, very inspirational, right? So if you're ever feeling down and feel like you can't do it, you know what? You can do anything you put your mind to. So here's as here is how simple this is. Oh, I cannot believe this. Today, here, you know, it, it'll pull up today, but you can actually go in and you can schedule it for any day you want to. So we're going to schedule it for today. Let's see what time is it right now here in California. It's 925. So let's actually schedule this for 9 just schedule it for 9.30, maybe. Well, let's schedule for 9.45, 9.45 a.m. Oh, my God. It's a built-in content scheduler inside yeah. of Canva. Yep, yep, yep. This, like, eliminates a whole other thing that people might need, might already have. Like, yeah. build your posts in here, then schedule them, and let them post for you. Right. Okay, so it's the it's, it's 24th. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I've already learned something here. You can't schedule on the day that actually is the day because you're supposed to pre-schedule. So let's just let's move this to the 25th. Okay, at 9:45, we're going to schedule this for tomorrow. Got it. Right. So, see, we always we're always learning. Well, actually, no, it did schedule for today, so it's good. All right, we're going to choose a destination. Here's where uh, Canva is connected at this point for you to actually post: Facebook pages, um, Twitter, wow. Facebook, Facebook groups, Instagram. LinkedIn profile and profile pages, Slack and Tumblr. Um, I know because I had I read something in Canva before. They're looking at uh, Canva or uh, Instagram integration as well. That might be something that comes down the line. This is nice though that you can post to different. So you can post to Facebook pages and you can post to groups as well, Perfect. and LinkedIn too. So you can you can play a little around. We're going to post this to a Facebook um, Matt, page right now. More than one? Can you say I wanted to go to LinkedIn and Twitter? And yeah, no, right. That's the thing that I'm sure this is going to improve over time. Right now, you can only do it to one thing. You have to go back in and you have to do it. Oh, and you'd have to do another post to another thing. Okay. Exactly. So there, it's not as robust as being able just to blast it out everywhere. So like it's I said, cool. I know these Canva creators and these Canva creators will add that feature. There is All no right. doubt in my mind about that. So we're going to post it to Facebook. And let me see here. Uh, you know what? I take that back. Let's post it to, let's go back. Let's post it to WBNO Coaching. Let's do okay. that. All right, if I'm going to pull up something to put here in the comments. Let me go up here to, I, th I thought I had this ready, so I apologize. I have to always find things on my little desktop here. Where is my 365 WBNL 365? There you are. There you are. You, gotta, you can put something in there if you want, like some comments or yeah. Say. In our, in our WBNL 365, like I had mentioned, we have um, not only all the images, but we also provide you with something to post in here. Typically on quotes like this, we just um, will put in the quote. So let's actually just do that. I'll just type it on in. It's for seek or within your Oh. And now we're going to schedule post. Literally, that's as easy as that is. So it's going to think about it here for a second. You could like spend a day like a Sunday night or something and schedule your whole next week or two weeks worth of post and have it done. Or That's right. Or do that for you. That's right. So as you see, if you're, the image will show up right down here. So if you have multiple posts ready to go out on any particular day, all the different images will show up. Right. I so 
I, I haven't tested enough to see what happens when it gets to be like if you're doing six different things on there, if it starts like a little scroll bar or something like that. But I would assume that's probably what it does. But okay. everything can jump in here. You can click on any of these images. I, I did this last night, actually, just kind of testing all this to see how it all worked. And um, I, I have actually scheduled our post out here on our WBNL site out through the end of the month using our WBNL 365. So they're all in here. You can go into any of these. You can change them. You can do whatever you want to, um, you know, if you, you can want edit to it. Yeah, if you want to do it, yeah. something you different. Do it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, exactly. So it's perfect if you're doing an open house or something like that that you that you know you're going to be doing in the future, and you can schedule things to go out. You know, as a reminder uh, to let people know that hey, that we have I have an open house coming up this weekend. You might want to put it something that goes out on your social media on Wednesday, right? Um, but if you do it ahead of time, you don't have to worry about. You can check that off your list well before the day you are actually going to do it. Now, there's another way you can do this too, because everything is um, obviously as easy as possible, or they make it as easy as possible for you in Canva. Let's go down to our designs here. Let's go down to that image that we just had. Actually, tomorrow's waffle day, and it's on my mind now because I've been talking about it. So, um, okay, well, I don't want to mess up my editing here, but we'll, we'll, we'll go back in and do that later. Let's just say I had designed this on the fly, or it's anything in my, and my Canva designs that I wanted to um It to does post. look appealing. Pardon me? That's an appealing photo. Yeah, yeah, I know it is, right? When I saw that, I'm like, you know what? I haven't had a, had a waffle in a long time. We were just talking about pancakes and waffles. I'm not joking you. Like That's funny. yesterday. Yeah. Well, tomorrow to tomorrow's your day. All right. Um, so up here at the top, you can actually go in and schedule right from here. So any design that you are doing in Canva, you can schedule. Oh, now this says schedule at the top because I already had it scheduled. So let's just take a peek here real quick. If you go to the dot, dot, dot over at the side here, and uh, there is a place right in here, uh, and it might not show up here at the very front. You might have to die for it a little bit because if you haven't used it before, it'll probably be farther down on the menu. But you can go right in here to schedule. And it will pull up exactly the same process that we just did. It's did. Waffle Day. So you, you know, don't have I, to go, you don't have to go to the calendar necessarily to do all right. your things. You can do it right from your design itself. So you can just do them on the fly, boom, boom, bam, schedule, <laughs> schedule your, your stuff, and then Matt, I had no idea. I knew you could I knew that you could post something and I knew you could schedule, you know, like one off, but the idea of going in and especially with the thing we provide with the the 365. You could just knock this all out. Like yeah. you could do a whole month's worth of post if you wanted to. It doesn't limit you. Does it limit you to say only the next week, or could you do a no, whole? No, no, no. You could, you could just, you could keep going. And that's the thing that's so nice about it. A lot right. of those programs only let you go X amount of about weeks. About a week, out, yeah. Right? Yeah. So makes it super convenient. Once again, I, you know, I, I get excited about Canva because like, we've worked in it a long time. Um, yeah, but we but didn't really I, know all these things until you no, really started diving into this. That's I right. Think. We're finding new features to this all the time that really are time savers. And that's what I love about this, this program uh, so much. Me too. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, well, something else I did want to point out to everybody, uh, just on this same note, to kind of help you organize. And organization in Canva is one of Jan, uh, Jan's pet peeves. <laughs> yes, it is. And I can't wait for you to show me, uh, do a class on that one. Yeah, there is a, a, a technique that you can shoot. Let me go up here too. Let me see here. Will be a good demo of this. You know why, Matt? It's because of the thousands of images yeah. you've created in here. No, it's really true. Let me go to, let me see here. These are all individual pictures. What's a good example here? I'll just go to a, a, a presentation that we've done recently. That's probably the best way to do that. This is a presentation that we have um, we've uh, done. If you have a folder that has images in it that you want to select from, uh, you know you can actually put page titles at the top of all of these, right? Hmm. Did you know that? So no. you know, I mean, it says it says page title. It literally says that at the top of the I page. But if I wanted to put go in here and I wanted to title this, you know, um, presentation title slide. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't, it's too far. It's blurry for me, but let's pretend like that presentation was spelled correctly. <laughs> right click. Correct. Probably. Right. When you actually go up and search, you can actually search and these things will start coming up. So if you have images within a folder that you want to be able to grab, uh, right, you can actually now search for them. If you actually put the, 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 uh, the and title. And you remember up. what you called them. <laughs> well, see, that's always the problem, right? Mm -hmm. 
And and one one I'm not even going to go into that. See, I could I'm going start. I was starting to go off on a thing. We're going to talk about this other thing next week. So I don't want to get off on that. And we'll right. we'll circle back around on this as well. But it's just it's just a simple fact. There's so many things you can do just to make your life easier when you're in Canva too. And we're going to talk a lot about organization um, because once you get past the initial how do you design things in here, there's a wealth a plethora of as Jen would uh, say of tools in Canva. So that's it for this week. Jan O'Brien, I, I love it. I am just, uh, I swear, Matt, uh, we've been, I don't know how many tips this has been, but I'm like every single week going, I didn't even know that. I, you know, and, and the challenge is, and this is what is such so cool that you're doing this, is that no one has time for anything, right? No. You no. Know, and then when you just, if you just continue to watch these tips, then you'll remember that, you know, I know there's some, you'll remember to come back and hear to the group and go into the, whatever they're called now, um, guides or something. Yep. Yeah. And you'll be able to scroll back quickly and see there's that one about the content. I know there's something in here. How do you do that? You know, and some of it is, some of it is you can discover it as you're going, but there's just literally so many features inside of Canva. It's overwhelming. And that's where everybody goes to overwhelm. Yeah, and exactly. Really and then you stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So well All right. done. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. I hope you enjoyed that. Next week, we're going to talk about how you can collaborate with either another individual or you can actually build a team of collabor collabor collaborators uh, in Canva, which also can be a very uh, uh, useful tool and how you can actually put notes in your presentations. So you don't have to worry about emailing someone or talking to them. You can actually really? put a note right next to a slide. So okay. it makes it very convenient to share and update your, your uh, tools. Sure. Um, we do weekly coach tips, motivational tips, tech tips, and Canva tips. And I, sure. Oh, that will be adding to that uh, that uh, list of things in the future as well. So join us next week if you, uh, uh, know and listen to our, our our trainings at all you know what i'm going to say now i want everyone to live the life they've dreamed make sure you mask up because we're not out of the woods yet and be forever wandering but not lost <laughs>